Hello and welcome to episode 35 of the Mighty Miniatures Campaign. We already set up a contract, good to go, so let's go. Um, okay. Mech Warriors, prepare for combat. I wonder if there'll be any me uh, any heavies in this battle, whether it'll all be mediums. Well, we're about to find out. An extremely heavy mech. Turn out to be a vehicle. It always is when it's an extremely heavy mech. Though, you know, I'm up for being pleasantly surprised. The first assault we saw was a victor, and I don't think we ever... I don't think I ever even saw a victor in any of my campaigns. It's a pretty rare mech. Okay, the enemy is there. Oh, it's this map. Simple way to play this map is to go straight up the hill and then engage from above. Okay. What are we waiting for? Heading out. What are you waiting for, Christmas? On my way. Heading out. Let's go. I read you, Commander. Moving out. They can't win if you have the high ground. Even the Jedi know that. Position the actual key bonus for being on the high ground is not uh -huh. really the accuracy bonus. It's the fact that you can block LOS a lot more easily from being from a high position. <coughs> you can often block LOS simply by um, moving back away from the edge. Got it. Oh! There's that extremely heavy mech, also known as a tank. No retreat, no surrender. Battle brothers, we know our duty and we will do it and we will fight. We will fight for our honor as mech warriors. As battle tech commanders. Receiving you. On my way. Is that it? Is it just that tank? You've got to be kidding me. Taking the shot. As scary as a demolisher is, that surely cannot be the entire enemy force for a two skull. Really? That's it? Move her down. I was gonna say, pull the other leg. Uh, sensors got something. Uh, it's a pair of lights.
Oh, come on. Come on. No shot from there, for some reason. Oh, come on. Just blow this junk into chunks. I'll start with the Jenner because it's actually got some firepower. Well, there isn't much to say here. I mean, as soon as these lights decide to actually uh, fire their weapons and thus remove their bracing, they're as good as dead. Come on. Did I take full salvage or did I take money on this mission? I can't remember. I think I took full salvage, which means that this is going to suck. Ah, the Jedi was smart enough to not move. Perfect. Oh, there's another enemy, Ready for order. and it may not necessarily be a light. Let's hurry up and get rid of the Jenner so we can find out what it is. You're still here. Waiting on you, Commander. Special delivery. Come on. We are uh, making this way more painful than it needs to be. Ha, huh, I moved and I still didn't get close enough to use the SRMs. Oh well. Okay. Even with such a like a massive height advantage, it's still a struggle to shoot these little gits. Okay. I'm not sure what the enemy mech is that's got a PPC. Whatever he is, he's evidently uh I guess the smallest thing it could be is a panther. On my way. Firing on target. Whatever he is, I can't uh, get a lock on him yet. Engaging target. Are you dead yet? Ho ho ho! 
That works. I hear ya. Coordinates received. Oh no, wherever he is, he's a light. Must be a panther. Yep, there he is. Commander? Let's just do as much damage as we can. As quickly as we can. Affirmative. Get this mission over with. Very heavy mech. Friggin' hundred ton demolisher. What can I do for you? Makes perfect sense. You betcha. Uh huh. Bye. Oh, no, not quite, but he will fall over, so. Waste of time this mission was. Tango down. Okay. Kill it. Please. Nice. Gotcha. Splosh. Mission. Well, that was a boring waste of time. <coughs> that adequately demonstrates the problem with that mission of the extremely heavy mech. And uh, it turns out to be a tank. Could not care less about this mission. <clears throat> Still, if we one day complete those light mechs, you know it's a it's an infusion of cash. Eventually, complete them and sell them for uh, two to three hundred C bills, two to three hundred thousand. I was expecting much more threat than that. But it is what it is. That you is okay. Looks like the only missions are not on this planet. A two and a half skull ambush convoy, which can always be risky. Or a three skull battle which seems to have a um, uh, be three skulls is a very high skull rating and the reward level is extremely high six salvage priority this could be a very very difficult contract This could potentially be an extremely dangerous contract, in fact. And it's on a desert planet as well, which does not benefit me. <coughs> but 
Hmm. Do we go for it? Do we take the risk? I have done three skulls before, but not straight up battles. Eh. 15 days, it's going to cost me 150,000 sea bills. Yeah, I'm not going to bother risking it. I would take a three skull battle, but not on a desert. Or a void. Not on a hot planet. A lot of my top mechs rely on, very heavily on, uh, a lot of medium lasers to get the job done. And I do not, uh... Don't want to be in a situation where my... my Primarily, my best uh, wep uh, weapons are uh, being impacted. Vincenti, you broke a medium laser. It's okay, I've got 40 more of them. <laughs> Last time I got that event, the uh, I got that event. I got an improved medium laser out of it, so it's certainly worth the risk. Ah, like oh, there's a shop here. Although I think I already sold everything. Of course, it's Detroit. It's my favorite planet. Of course, there's a shop. I'm losing the plot. Right, let's see if there's some contracts that are actually worth doing. Oh, look at this. An escort for such a huge sum of money and salvage. And there's an assassinate as well, which would undoubtedly mean that there would be a nice mech. Still. Uh, they both go... All the roads lead to Lin Huigian, or however that's pronounced. That sounds good to me. 400,000 sea bills. That covers the month's operating expenses. And two priority picks. Ugh. They have put in a lot of punishment events for not developing the recreation room stuff. Oh well, <clears throat> if the game wants me to buy them so badly I'll probably buy them at some point. Let's go. I must admit these Vindicators are actually uh, <coughs> my best firepower. Just because medium lasers are just so good. Well, I like doing hard missions on, on cold planets so I can really abuse them. Because uh, there aren't a huge amount of stock designs that overheat badly. <coughs> We're not about to find any Nova cats in this game. 
Now there's a mech that likes to overheat. I always like to think that the uh, mech was named the Nova Cat because it might go supernova. <laughs> Okay, it's this mission again. On it. We did this one just recently. On <coughs> we shall go about it the exact same way as we did last time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, a locust. Okay. Soon to be a dead locust. Yes, Commander. Since you're so kind enough to just sit there, I guess we can just sit here and shoot at you till you die. Seems legit to me. Good thing I did as well, otherwise, my bulwark wouldn't have been up. Go. Oh, here comes the next one. That is a lot of LRMs. That is going to be a uh, thunderbolt or a catapult or a trebuchet. What are those ugly hell beasts? Right, I want this locust dead, so can you just precision it for me? That would be delightful. Nice! Tango's trash. <laughs> God, I love them ammo explosions. Nice. Want some more, huh? By the way, I the reason why I listed heavies in the list of possibilities for this mech here is because you see a lot of tacticians around on the AI pilot side of things. So the odds of a tactical heavy are uh, not unreasonable. Let's see how you handle this. There we go, not bad. I moved him because I... Oh, it's a trebuchet. I moved him because I um wanted to get my bulwark up. Ow. He went for a different target. As you do. Let's go. Evasion reducing exercise here. Now there could be a second set of enemies after this, so I do need to be careful about keeping my health high. No 
shot on him. Not a bad shot on him. Ooh, that's where he keeps the ammo. Oh! <coughs> Damn, them ammo explosions are bad for you. Gotta be careful with those exploding torsos. Ready for orders. Good to go. You're next, my trebuchet friend. Affirmative. I think he's gonna lose his leg in a minute. Nice. Good to go. Go for the head, probably get the center torso. Oh, we did hit the head. Nice. So the CT is, um, down to 45. Uh, I think if we splatter the arm, 48% chance. I need 60 damage, and that would be two primary weapons plus the LRMs. Just try and do that one extra injury and see if the pilot dies. Yep. Okay, what are we looking at now? 34 and 4. Okay, let's see if we can put them where we want them. Oh, nice! Inflicted some heavy damage. But we did not inflict the extra injury because we took out both the left and right at the same time. So he survives. He must have had a lot of hit points. Because he's definitely taken three injuries, if not four. There is no way for me to capture him now, it's impossible. The only way I capture him now is if this medium laser hits the head instead of the CT. Nope. Shame. These things happen. And I just, I don't have that cool shot mastery that I need to, uh, really capture enemies like like you would expect oh I remember when I last did this map On my way. <clears throat> the exit point became here and the enemies spawned like over here Yep. This is tediously long, this map. Heading out. Roger. Let's go, boys. In fact, I'm going to put on super speed up mode. 
just because this bit takes so long. Even though it, light gives me weird motion sickness. I wasn't the only one. When I had it on for the first few episodes, quite a few people mentioned that it just made them feel a bit bleh. Reminds me of uh, planet side spinning drop pods. So there was this brief period of time in planet side 2 where the drop pods used to spin and uh, whatever you deployed, you deployed in a drop pod and it just span and span and span and my god it did not take <laughs> many respawns to make you feel sick. It was uh... It was really quite impressive actually that they could make you feel so nauseous in this way. Take the high ground. I keep pressing the space bar and I don't need to now. So, if this follows the same pattern as the previous mission, the enemies will spawn down here. And they'll be roughly the same weight classes as the ones that we just killed. And one of these APCs will lag behind really badly. This one. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Moving to position. Okay. That's it, we're all in position, ready for the enemy. As soon as this first APC touches the extraction zone, the enemy reinforcements should turn up. And there they are. There's four of them this time. Surprise action, apparently. We're waiting on the hill, looking down at exactly where we thought they were going to be, and we are totally surprised. Where are the other two? Oh. What? <laughs> They're literally right next to us. How could we be surprised by this? Ready for orders. Ah, oh, ah, oh, disco hunchback and a trebuchet. Okay. Definitely need to do something about the disco back. I want to capture it. Ooh. He got me full disco. Right, I'm turning off the speedy mode because it's making me feel ill. Right. 
see what the other guy does. The trebuchet. Nothing, apparently. This probably won't work, but it's worth a go. Nice. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. Now, the real game begins. Knock him over. Nice, a headshot. Just increases our chances of getting the capture. Excellent. Two injuries, and both legs are intact, and both side torsos are intact. Right, let's carry on. First things first, stop showing our back to the enemy. The shot. Pound the trebuchet. As soon as we get through the armor on the trebuchet, it should just explode. Because <clears throat> that's how trebuchets work. I realize I'm taking some considerable risks here trying to capture the disco back, but I really want one. It's got the power of a small sun in a delicious 50 ton package. And these two idiots will just hump the corner of the mountain forever. Receiving you. Uh, yes, do me a small favor and just punch this guy in the face if you would be so kind. Oof. Oh man, he ripped his leg off. Awesome. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. Now, in theory, I could just get the other leg. I say in theory, my mech warriors are still crap, so... <laughs> we can try. Just temporarily step away from the hunchback for now. We'll come back to you in a minute. Got it. <coughs> this is the moment where he hit everything but the leg that we are aiming for. Have we, have we even hit this leg once? I'm not sure we have. Still, if we keep on hitting the side torsos, there's lots of ammo there, so uh, good luck with that. These APCs are going to be long gone before the enemy gets anywhere near them. Okay, Disco back is up. He's still got his party cannon. Ooh! Naughty boy! Don't worry, rear armor on my Shadow Hawk is super thick. Trebuchet is up. Jesus, one in the front, one in the back. How revolting. <laughs> These two idiots are just going to do nothing down there. 
Have they got jump jets? Could they jump up? Standing by. I don't know, but whatever they're doing, it's dumb. Right, have to protect my uh, my rear quarter from being violated. That is the wrong side to hit the trebuchet. So let's hit the hunchback. Okay, that's all right. Relax, my friend. All will be well. Got it. Okay, so this side, 12 HP on the leg. Not that I actually truly care about capturing it. That should be plenty to chop the leg off. Oh, the pilot died! The hunchback is ours! And so is the trebuchet. Enemy down. Sweet. Now all that's left is a pair of idiot commandos. Who I could just bombard with rockets. Until I get bored and go down there and kill them. Easy. Solid connection on that one. Come on, get out of there. <coughs> nice work. Now time for my extraction marker, which of course is going to be behind the enemy. Because that's where we always put extraction. Oh, you finally decided to join this fight. Okay. Systems holding. I guess your buddy here is actually going to join the fight as well. What a fail. You boys do not even realize how dead you are. Roger that. Okay, he's nearly dead. Not much interesting to say right now. Just clean up these commandos. And then move on. Pretty nasty. LRMs are really nasty. They're so good at finding weaknesses as well. Boom. Enemy down. Now this mech is actually like pretty pretty smashed up, so I'll just keep him out of it. <clears throat> I mean it's not, but you know, a large laser and a medium laser in the right place could do some real damage. So we might as well stick to mechs that have uh full protection. Good to go. Almost done. Roger that. Wow, 
Wow, the entire side of his neck was just ripped clean off there. The AI's inability to deal with terrain, I think, is one of the great failings of this game. But it allows me to do whatever I want, so... I suppose there is that. Splat. It's kind of funny that with low cooled shot mastery you can designate a piece to not shoot at rather than one to shoot at. <laughs> Something like quite perverse and funny about that. Okay, easy money. Easy money. Wow, I could complete a trebuchet. Or I could take pieces of the disco back. I went to all that effort to uh, capture the disco back. And yet, it does tactically make more sense to take the trebuchet. Oh man, I am spoilt for choice. I am going to take the trebuchet because I can finish it. And it would be a welcome piece of firepower. And I'll just have to hope that the loot gods give me some hunchback. Okay, I got one piece. And I got the Shadowhawk piece. That's actually a pretty good haul. If I could have completed the, uh, the disco back, I would have taken it. But I couldn't, so... Okay. Time to replace one of my many Vindicators. This represents quite a step up. Just gotta remember to protect the arm. not a heavy so I'm not putting good kit in it uh, do I want LRMs or do I want SRMs I guess I'll go with LRMs this is actually slightly more damage and they're good for uh, crit seeking Oh, where do I put the missiles? Since I have two launcher systems. Actually makes sense to put it in the head, strictly speaking. The left and right torso on this is actually as heavily armoured as the CT. Um, at least two jump jets. Okay. 
this is a design that would have been uh, <coughs> a lot more heat efficient before they nerfed medium lasers, but uh, you know, it is what it is. <coughs> we could have stripped the LRMs out and gone for SRMs, which, since they're a ton lighter, we could have gotten better heat efficiency. But the heat efficiency isn't too bad. It's uh, a net gain of 18 per round. So a good five rounds of uh, full throttle firing before we start to run hot. And we can always just not fire the uh, the LRMs. 19 days to just fit the weapons. Oh well. What do we have here? This is a lot of money being offered for uh, what looks like an easy mission. <coughs> Three and a half skull battle. Uh. Salvage on this mission is awful. Money is decent though. Let's go get them sea bills. Got to pay them bills, got to pay those expenses. Definitely wouldn't have minded picking up a complete disco back, but uh, <coughs> it did make sense to pick up the mech that I could complete. Okay. At the risk of turning this into an extremely long episode, I am going to do this battle quickly. Because why not? Why not? I'm going to grind out missions. We might as well grind out missions, right? They want a show of military strength, they're going to get one. Since I have opted for no salvage, it's going to be a slaughter. <clears throat> but it wasn't worth it. For one priority pick, you have to give up like two, 200,000 Z-bills. And for one, one part, uh, eight parts per mech, I don't feel like that's a good value proposition. Oh, it's this map. This is the map that always has reinforcements that turn up over here. Come on. Okay. Get right up in the corner and then we start jump jetting up there. It's like a small shanty town up here. The lights are on, so there's definitely people in the buildings that we're about to step all over. Sarge, I think you just killed somebody's dog. I leap, I 
Okay. Oh. Two enemy lights. We shall make light work of them. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Okay, easy enough. Oh, come on. We all know this is not going to be a challenge. This is going to be a whole lot of light mechs being turned into paste. Nice. Of course he's stood in the minerals so he's going to be hard to hit. But all I'm trying to do is just close in so I can get into melee. Melee is really the easy way to get rid of light mechs. Of course, the ones that are stupid enough to stand still are also pretty easy to kill. Whew. Seven. Seven light mechs. <coughs> it's going to get brutal. Most enemy lights cannot handle even a single punch to the CT. It's a plague of locusts! It's easy to just stand here bulwarked and exchange fire with them and very, very, very slowly win. But I'd rather take the risk of just running at them and trying to punch them all to death because it'd be so much quicker. I can get my sea bills and go home. Aye, aye. Oh look who's in range! Position. Did that guy not move? Okay. That locust was stupid enough to not move. This pleases me in all my tingly places. A light mech that does not move is a dead mech. Although my uh, firepower restriction is definitely uh, making things more difficult. <laughs> Kill him! Nice. Okay, he needs one hit. And he needs quite a few hits actually. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure the missiles will finish the locust. Let's go with this distribution. No problem. 
Nice. That was almost the perfect amount of firepower. And so was that. Double kill. Who's next? Oh, more lights. It's the charge of the light brigade. It's beautiful. Uh, but it's not war. <laughs> Gotta salute that guy's courage. He's just watched two light mechs just get utterly, utterly ruined. And he's like, Yeah, I'll have me some of that. Of course he will. Right through the cockpit window. Boosh. Ready, set, dead. Nope, missed. Oh, come on, guys. You're just mocking the poor thing now. Oh man, the pilot died of injury. That's kind of messed up if you think about it. Oh, a panther. Okay. Just something a little bit more exciting. He unfortunately left his evasion tokens at home, so uh, he took a full beating there. Oh, a fire starter. Okay. That is something you could potentially be concerned about. Alright boys, let's go. I feel sorry for these lights. They just, they don't have a hope in hell. Then again, Decker was killed by a swarm of lights. But, I mean, that was just on the pure, fluky randomness of headshots. Nice. There goes his weapon systems. Almost there, one more round and he's dead. What can I do for you? We can move on to the next light. In my campaign of terror. Roger that. Firing on target. Nice. Should have run when you had the chance. Now what, my light friends? You coming over here or what? Find out it's a group of fire starters and they come in and start cooking my guys. Waiting for orders. Let's have a look at what we're facing. 
the fire starter which we saw before another fire starter a panther and a panther okay it's actually a decent alignment of enemies Also, this uh, fire starter has got his back on display for some reason. Ready for orders. I don't have a shot. Position confirmed. Interestingly. Oh well, at least the LRMs will work, right? Good to go. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Have to take these idiots seriously now. I mean, a pair of fire starters and a pair of panthers are actually quite dangerous. Especially when the PPC hits. I probably shouldn't have fired any weapons, I probably should have just braced. That's a fail. Should have jumped down and used your flamers. Oh, he's got bulwark. How annoying. Hey, uh, watch those heat levels. By. Okay. Let's get to work. You didn't need that leg, did you? He fell through the floor. <laughs> yeah. Just right just sit there and brace. Get the lag. Oh wow, most of those shots actually hit the leg. That surprises me. Okay, I don't actually have a clean shot. Okay, it's fine. Nothing major there. And that fire that fire star just seems to want to sit there and pretend that he's a spider firing two medium lasers at me every turn. My armor is getting ripped off. Relax, you're fine. Okay, 31, two hits. That's a fail. Now he's back up. That's not a DFA, is it? I would have laughed if it was. Man, the overheating is real. Waiting for orders. Standing by. 
Uh, you can only hit because he's right next to you. What can I do for you? Same deal. Well, you're running too hot, so it's melee only. Oh my god! I don't know about underestimating the lights, I'm underestimating our own Jesus right now. Wait a minute. This fire starter here, which side of him do I need to hit? Why can't I select him and bring up his display? <sighs> it's very annoying. Here we go. Commander. That's the left side, right? I don't really want to present the left side anymore. I have an idea. Eighteen percent. Go for it. Okay, is this the correct side? Yes, it is. Sixty nine per cent. I need to land three hits. Go on then, we'll take the risk. It did not work. <coughs> I've been very, very unlucky. I'm still not in any real danger, it's just become a very irritating, messy fight. Yes, Commander. Okay, that'll do. Thank you! This guy should have been in real trouble by now, but I missed him with a melee attack. Engaging attack. And I missed him again! Jesus Christ! Why am I so unlucky here? Ready for orders. Acknowledged. That's two melee attacks that I've missed him with. Okay, didn't evade that one. How's the rear armor on this? It's very thick, isn't it? Yeah. More than happy to show my back to punch this guy to bits. Okay, cool. Next turn, blast him in the CT. That is a fail, my friend. It's a mere fraction of what you were capable of. <coughs> I 
it's funny how messy how messy a battle can get when you don't take it very seriously and just like oh yeah easy battle I'll just uh, I'll just get through it quickly and move on with my life. Affirmative. And then it turns ugly because you weren't paying attention. Right. Uh, apparently, he's positioned in such a way that I can't shoot him. I mean, I can't melee him. Targeting enemy backside. Get him in the back. I'm not sure why I can't melee him in the back, but you know, whatever. I'm here. Roger. Go. I had basically a very poor chance to hit him, so I just decided I'd go for the good chance. Let's see what the panther does. Probably melees me. Nope, going for the rear of the shadow hawk. Which of course is kind of pointless because the shadow hawk has thick rear armor, as do most of my designs. Just to avoid any stupid eventualities. It only takes one unexpected blast in the rear for you to win stupid prizes in this game. So underarming under armoring the rear is done at your own peril. Bloody light mechs. I'd almost rather fight mediums. At least they're easier to hit. Okay. It seems like he jumped up there and then he just lost the plot. And he was like, um... I don't know who I am or what I'm doing. Affirmative. Okay, there goes the leg. Critical hit. <coughs> Should be a simple case now of boring our way through the center torso. I think that would be the easiest, yeah. Easiest thing to do. Just blast the CT. People say, uh, people have beaten the game apparently using nothing but fire starters, and I believe it because fire starter is really, really OP because of how powerful support weapons are. There we go. Nice and simple. Easy money. Mission Buys us another month with all the bills paid. I'm glad I didn't go for salvage because it was absolutely nothing worth salvaging. In my opinion. And that 20% bonus is just a pure cash bonus.
<coughs> I could have uh, won that battle a little bit more gracefully, but you know. You kind of don't want to get into... You want to get into a melee with lights, but you don't want to get into a uh, melee with fire starters. Fire starters are the exception to the rule. Although part of this only got messy because uh, I missed so many melee attacks. That genuinely should not have been a thing. But it became a thing for some reason. Okay, it's a battle with bad salvage rights, which means that there's probably a heavy. Probably a big one. Let's go for it. Let's go full salvage on this one. <clears throat> Travel time will give us time to get all of our stuff repaired. Yeah, the penalties for not building these morale rooms are building up. Before uh, they fixed the events or whatever, or they added loads of new extra bits to the events that are very paradox-like. Um, there wasn't much reason to build the recreation rooms, but as I addressed in a previous episode, instead of giving us better reasons to build the rooms, they've just punished us for not building them. It's a very fine difference, it's a subtle difference. Thing is, it's tanking my morale now. So, we'll get the basic ones done, the gym and the library, because those keep coming up all the time. But I'm pretty sure that once I've built them, I'll start getting punishment events for having not built other other recreation rooms. So, it is what it is. Okay, right, well we're good to go for the next episode anyway. So, join me next time when we will tackle this uh, battle. And uh, hopefully salvage ourselves our first heavy.